be a dangerous man. Now, being dangerous is not being a threat. They're two different things. And it's not about going out and lifting weights and getting a bunch of tattoos and wearing leather jackets and walking around with your chest and shoulders up, hulking around saying, I'm dangerous. Very rarely is that a dangerous man. Often the most dangerous man in the room is the quietest man in the room. When we were in Wyoming, I was talking to the neighbor behind me, the manager of Aldous and Ranch Land, and across the road, he had just a few head of sheep. And he said, I don't recommend you go over and check out the sheep. He has one of those dogs. He said, that dog doesn't know you and he might eat you up protecting those sheep. That dog was dangerous. But that dog did not sit on the hillside up with his head up and his hair flowing in the wind like some kind of lion telling the whole world I'm dangerous. He was just with the sheep and he was not a danger to the sheep. The lambs and the ewes and everything come around and go in around amongst him and everything and they were perfectly 100% safe. He's not telling everybody how dangerous he is. In fact, from a distance, if you look down there, he looked like the sheep. But you go down there and he thinks you're trying to harm one of the sheep, it's a different story. He's dangerous. You can't be a fully good man if you're not a dangerous man. To be good is to do good to people. And sometimes doing good to people is protecting those people protecting those around us. These days I'm a laid back, mellow, middle-aged fella and, and I kind of talk slow and easy and I move slow and easy. But you say one disrespectful thing to my wife and my presence. I am not only willing, but I am able to inflict great bodily damage. And I will do so. I'm not a danger to those around me. I'm not a danger to the sheep. It's a willingness and a mindset. And then you work on the physical side of it. All right, start losing some weight. Start going to the gym. Start learning some things. If you are not willing and able to some degree to protect the family that you have started, you don't have a right to have a family.